we've been discussing wisdom and how wisdom can be released and applied in a person's life. The scripture says in Luke chapter number 2 and verse 52 that Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. So when we begin to increase in wisdom, we then also begin to increase in stature. And when we increase in stature, we then begin to increase in favor with God and we increase in favor with man. So how do we increase uh, in wisdom and increase in stature? And how can we generate the favor of God in our lives? Proverbs 4 verse 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. So we, in our quest to have a better life, to improve the standard of our lives, uh, to change the environment uh, in our lives, to, to alter the trajectory of our lives, to recalibrate our future, we then have to find wisdom so that we can increase in wisdom from day to day. Uh, the scripture is clear that men like Solomon prayed for wisdom and God answered and gave him wisdom. Uh, David prayed for wisdom and God added wisdom to his life by putting key people around him. Daniel prayed for wisdom and an angel was released from heaven and gave him wisdom. And so we're looking at a list of things that, that can increase the wisdom in our lives and, and what wisdom will do and how we can recognize these things. So let's look at uh, a continuation of our list. Number one, wisdom will perfect your focus. And, and in that determines your emotions so that you contain what you focus on. Wisdom perfects your focus and determines your emotions in attaining what you focus on. So if you're looking at something for the future, if you are setting your sights on a particular goal, if you are focusing on attaining or achieving something, wisdom will perfect that focus. The eye at any given moment can see 300,000 things, uh, including an array of colors. But the eye can only focus on one thing. And so it's very difficult to know what to focus on when there's so many things we can do, so many things we want to achieve. Wisdom perfects your focus and will control or determine your emotions on how to attain what you focus on. Number two, wisdom will create your self-worth. And, and that will then determine the way you behave and also will establish your culture. Wisdom will create your self-worth because we don't know what we're worth. Everybody's worth something. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 18, verse 16, that everybody has a gift and that gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. But it's hard to know what that gift is. Wisdom creates your self-worth. Generally, your test in life, your trial in life, reveals what you're really worth. So wisdom then will create your self-worth and then determines your behavior so you can acquire what you've seen in your self-worth and then will establish a culture as to how you behave to attain and to maintain when you discover your self-worth. Number three, wisdom will teach you how to honor time and also will release the specifics of time in your life. All a human being really has is time. We have an appointed time. There is a time for favor. There is a time for blessing. There is a time of midnights. There's a time of famine. There's a time of sorrow. There's a time to birth. There's a time to rejoice. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to be elevated. There's a time to pull down. Ecclesiastes chapter number 3 verse 1 through 11 tells us that. But wisdom will teach you how to honor time. It will teach you how to navigate through night seasons, through drought seasons. It will teach you how to maneuver through the times of treacherous waters. Uh, wisdom will show you how to honor the times you're in. will show you how to maximize your time of harvest. Uh, if you look at a man like Joseph, who had no formal schooling, he had no formal education. Uh, his brother sold him into slavery. He lands up in part of his house. He's obviously going to be learning some lessons there, being exposed to Potiphar and his world. And then through a false accusation, he finds himself in jail. 
and he's going to learn some life lessons and streetwise in jail. But but his ability to have visions and dreams gives him uh, a little bit of a notch higher than those of uh, his contemporaries in prison. And because of, he, of his uh, insistence on excellence and, and his insistence on doing things the right way and bringing order, Joseph then becomes uh, the top of, of the prisoners and the prison is put into his own hands. And so wisdom will teach you how to honor your time. And in that time, Joseph was building his life. And when he translates, interprets the dream of, of the two men from Pharaoh's household, his, uh, his workers, uh, Joseph says to the one that's going to be repatriated, he says, remember me uh, when, when you come into Pharaoh's presence. And the day comes when uh, Pharaoh has a complex problem. He has a major issue in his life. And Joseph recognizes it is my time. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, when the time of Joseph's word came, God lifted him and brought him into the palace. And it was there that Joseph taught the senators and he trained the princes in Egypt. And so wisdom will teach you how to honor your time. And so don't waste time. Maximize your time. Uh, wasting time is a waste of time. Make sure that you, you pray that God will give you the wisdom to manage and, and, and run time to benefit you, not just for this time, but in the future time. Number four, wisdom will enhance your ability to make decisions and in turn will determine your wealth. So wisdom then will, will come around you and give you uh, uh, an embellishment of your ability and it will help you make key decisions at key moments and it's those key decisions in key moments that determines your wealth uh, there's so many talented people so many gifted people the problem is that they don't know how to make decisions and the problem is that they don't have the wisdom to make the kinds of decisions that can attract and generate credible wealth wisdom will enhance your ability to make decisions and, and will turn uh, your life to determine your wealth. Number five, wisdom will show you how to follow instruction and following that instruction will determine your future. Wisdom will show you how to follow instruction and following that instruction will, will determine your future. Uh, the Bible says the man that loves instruction is a wise man. Instruction is not just being lectured to and taught, but instruction comes from all kinds of ways. A child can teach you something. A, a friend of mine who, who is a, a gospel artist uh, was, was singing a, at a concert, and um, he didn't know that uh, the buttons on his shirt had broken, and he wasn't wearing an undervest. And so a little girl came up to him, and he said, Oh, little girl, do you want my picture? She said, No, I just want to tell you that your buttons are broken and we can see your navel. And so that little moment was a moment of wisdom because he learned from that point, never go to a concert without an undervest. So wisdom then is, is, is key in your life. Number six, wisdom will always teach you how to believe God so that you can be established and will direct you to believe his prophets so you will prosper. That's a scriptural principle in Second Chronicles 20.20. That if you believe God, you'll be established. If you believe his prophets, you will prosper. Wisdom will show you how to believe God. Because, I mean, the scripture says in the book of James, uh, chapter 5, that you believe in one God, you do well, the devils believe and tremble. So it's not a matter of believing God. They are people that are not Christians. They are people that are around the world uh, that, that believe God. But they don't have the kind of results in their life. Wisdom will show you how to believe God so that you can be established. And wisdom will show you how to believe his prophets so you can prosper. Wisdom is the principal thing and will add value to your life. And finally, in this session, wisdom will lead you to choose the right mentors who will add huge blessing and add great value to your life. Everyone needs a mentor Everyone needs somebody that can bring value to your life. I pray that God will give you the wisdom to find the right kinds of mentors, the right kind of individuals that can direct your life. And actually through their wisdom, 
through their knowledge, through their understanding of life, can actually shorten your life in terms of uh, not going through challenges and problems that they went through, so that the lessons that they learned, you will have learned as well, and that you can have new experiences to develop your life. We are now dealing with the Wisdom Series. I pray that God will bless your life and increase your life and develop you in all kinds of ways. Father, I pray for every person listening today that you'll give them great wisdom, increase their lives in wisdom, that they grow from one level of wisdom to the next. Increase us in wisdom so we can increase in stature and in favor with God and man. God bless you so much. I'm Bishop Tudor Bismarck from Harare, Zimbabwe, pastor of New Life Covenant Church.